Mexico. We work from Maine to Mexico. There's nothing like this Texaco of ours. Our show tonight is powerful. We'll wow you with an hour full of howls from a shower full of stars. We're the merry Texaco men. Tonight we may be showmen. Tomorrow we'll be servicing your cars. I wipe the pipe, I pump the gas, I rub the hub, I scrub the glass. I touch the clutch, I mop the top, I poke the choke, I sell the pop. I clear the gear, I block the knock, I jack the back, I set the clock. So join the ranks of those who know and fill your tank with Texaco. Sky, fill up the sky, and you will smile at the pile of new miles you will add. Fire, sheep, fill up with fire, sheep. You'll find that Texaco's the finest friend your car has ever had. Mr. Werner. Oh, don't ask me. Ask Mr. Werner. All right. How about you, Mr. Werner? Oh, not me. My, my wife and I have a joint bank account, and if I, I touch it, she'll break every joint in my body. <laughs> Why don't you ask the star and director of the picture? All right, I will. Have you any idea where we can get $150,000, Ronald Reagan? Well... <laughs> I'm leaving for New York tonight to see our new leading lady, Dolores Gray. And while I'm there, perhaps I can make some contacts. Fine boy, fine. And if you can swing this, we have a big surprise for you. One of the highest awards you can get at this picture company. Shall I tell him, gentlemen? Yes, yes, yes. go ahead. Ronald, if you can put this over, we are going to make you a brother. No. Really? Oh, golly. Well, say, I just have time to catch my plane. You see, Dolores Gray is going on the Milton Berle show this coming week. Wait a minute. I wonder... Milton Berle. There's the one to get the money from. What's the matter with Milton Berle? Plenty, but let's get the money from him anyway. <laughs> That's right. He's rich. He's loaded. He's stupid. I got an idea. Why don't I call him on the phone? They're probably rehearsing the show right now. Operator, uh, get me Milton Berle at the Center Theater, New York City. You no, tell him the idea. Tell him the idea. Don't take Say, it open enough. Why don't we make him a brother? Let's not lose our heads. <laughs> if we make Pearl a brother, that means we get his brother Frank, too. Whoa. Whoa. Hello, Milton Burl? Uh, yes, uh, this is Milton Burl. <laughs> yeah, this is his speaker. Uh, who, uh, who, who is this? Who is this, please? Uh, this is Ronald Reagan, Milton. I'm calling from Hollywood. Hollywood? I'm a very sorry. Mr. Bird, he's not here. This is not collect. Oh, hello, Ronald. How are you? Hello, Milton. Uh, this is Milton. How's everything? All right? Yeah, say, listen, Milton, we're producing a picture out here. Dolores Gray is going to be the leading lady. Yeah. We can't make it without you. A picture? Well, I don't know, Ronald. I'm pretty busy, you see. I'm rehearsing my show and writing so many song hits. Got that big hit now, I... Let me... Uh, this picture that you want, uh, what kind of a part is it? Well, I'll uh... take it. <laughs> but this is a pretty short notice, uh, Ronald. I, I don't think that I could get to California before uh, tonight. <laughs> I don't think so. I really don't. Well, well, Milton, you don't understand. What? This is business. Yeah, well, Ronald, you don't have to explain the picture business to me. I'll be great in the picture. You remember my last picture? Always leave them laughing. I go to see the producers of that picture on visiting days. They're still laughing. <laughs> Milton, look, I'm coming east and we can talk over the whole proposition. Uh, we'll get together about the money. Well, that's good, Ronald. There's nothing I like better than getting together with money. I mean, uh, getting together with you. Uh, goodbye, Ronald. Uh, goodbye, Milton. Hey, hey, kids. Stop rehearsing. Kids, come here. I just got a call from California. They want me to make a picture. Marilyn Monroe, I'm going to have a date. Mm -hmm. Who do you think that was on the phone? Who? An important man from Hollywood was speaking. Well, then strictly on to do what was destined to call you. Well, apparently it's talent that he's seeking. Maybe Donald. Maybe so. Donald. I don't know. There's no need to be modest now. 
town. But they said, hurry. Well, don't worry. Why? You'll put them in the pot and how? You know, kids, your great display of confidence in me is reassuring. Reveal if they need sugar that I'm happy to do the touring. They need you. They really need, need you. you. Well, if duty calls, then I must go. I'm off to Hollywood. You'll do them lots of good. I'll revolutionize the silver screen. I'll play a cowboy a la Burl. In every scene, I'll kiss the girl and not the horse. He's going to L.A., 3,000 miles away. Yes, and I'll show them how to present a scene. I'll be the cowboy out west, and I'll show them how I'll be able to do my best. You watch me. Coming to L.A., 3,000 miles away. Show the picture guy just what he needs, and it will be. Crisco Kid, eh? The Crisco Kid. I knew it as soon as I looked at your pan. Knew it right away. <laughs> you missed. You're not so tough. You're not a tough cookie, Crisco. <laughs> you missed. That's what you did. I'm going to run you right off this range, Crisco. <laughs> Still missed. You won't get away with this, Crisco. You won't get away with it. Crisco, you're gonna fry for this. <laughs> All right. All right, now. Drop down your gun and fight fair. Drop down that gun and fight fair. Go ahead. Drop down the gun. All right. You and I are gonna fight fair. We're gonna fight fair, you hear? Gosh darn. <laughs> a man from Mars upon the screen. He just got back from the planet Earth. It's Captain the old girl we made. Captain Video Burl reporting. I discovered Earth. Excellent, Captain Burl. What did you find out about Earth? Got all the dirt. They're much more advanced in science than we are. They've invented mechanical man, the only one in existence. What does it do? It's still, but it walks. The space is frozen, but it talks. I tell you, it's almost human. What does it look like? I brought a picture with me. He's the toast of the town, yes, he's the toast of the town. Oh, he's so exciting, but he's so exciting. Ah, you see? I'm off to Hollywood to show them how they should portray just what you've seen on the screen. Great attraction. Kids, thank you very much. I gotta go and pack. I gotta get get my bags ready. I'm gonna fly right out to Hollywood. I'm gonna be in a picture with Dolores Gray. Believe me, she don't know it. But is Dolores Gray going to be crazy to be in a picture with me? She'll be crazy to be in a picture with me. <laughs> I'd have to be. Dolores, how are you? <laughs> hey, Dolores. 
Honey, I, I'm so thrilled. You know what happened? I just got a call from California, and I'm going to be in a picture with you. You didn't notice. I'm going to be your leading man. You, Milton? Yeah. Well, I thought Ronald Reagan was supposed to be my leading man. Ronald Reagan? Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you kidding? Ronald Reagan? Look, if you, had, if you had to choose between Ronald Reagan and Milton Burrow, who would you pick? Or don't you want to be on my show anymore? Now, who would you okay, pick? Okay, 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 you yeah. win. All right. Hey, tell me, Milton, yeah, uh, when are they going to start making this picture? Well, as soon as I get to Hollywood, they'll start shooting. <laughs> You're going to wear a bulletproof vest, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, dear, when are they going to start making the picture? I don't know. I get a feeling that you don't like me. Milton, how can you say that? I, you, you, you. Well, you know, it's just that I, I like you fine, but I just can't consider you the, well, the romantic leading man type. Oh, you can, huh? No. <laughs> Folks, get the kids out of the living room. <laughs> Can't consider me romantic, huh? Come into my house! <laughs> uh, don't, oh, you're heavy, you know. <laughs> That's uh, not no, the joke. Don't, <laughs> Dolores, you, yes. you, you weigh about 130. Oh, <laughs> uh, darling, I don't know if you know what I, you mean to me. No, I, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, look at me. Look at me, darling. You don't know what you mean to me. You don't know how I long for you. You don't know nothing, do you? <laughs> oh, darling, I can hear the orchestra playing a thousand fiddles as I look in your limpid blue eyes. They drive my whirly brain crazy. My fevered brain. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> how do you like it? Is it all right? <laughs> Folks, bring the kids back into the oh, living room. Oh, stop it now. <laughs> All right, if you don't want to, I know, it. You, you don't like it, okay? So I won't do it, okay? Uh, I've been in a lot of pictures before, you know that? Have you? Yes, I've made a lot of pictures. Yes. I made, but uh, if, if, I, if I wanted to kiss somebody like that or somebody kissed me like that, you they would get it. excited. Well, but you didn't get I'm, excited I'm, I'm, at all. I'm sorry, I can't. That's all right. Bobby, hey, Sherwood. You know, Milton, no, wait. What? Thank you. Oh, baby. Hey, Bobby. Yeah. I, uh, I uh, like you to meet. Dolores Gray. How do you do? <laughs> well, hello. I couldn't get that result with a thousand fiddles. He's got one lousy guitar here. <laughs> All right, break it up, break it up. Come on, everybody's so formal on the show. How do you do, Mr. Sherwood? <laughs> Mr. Sherwood! You, your lip is bleeding. Oh, no, that's lip. <laughs> Say, all kids, did you hear what happened? The reason we're so excited, I, I just got a call from California, and I'm going to make a picture. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's terrific. What's with the yawning? What are you yawning about? Oh, I'm sorry, Milton. I can't help it. I'm always sleepy. You're always sleepy? I got that early morning disc jockey show on radio. On, on what? Radio. What's radio? What's radio? <laughs> Well, you remember radio. It's that little box. Yeah. You turn it on and the sound comes up. Oh, right. oh, I own one of those. Yeah, you do. Oh, what do you get on your radio? Dust. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd have had that line. <laughs> After all, what's radio? Radio is nothing today. Television, that's the thing. Television. Television? Yeah. What's that? What's television? That's a little box, too, where the children eat off from. Look, would you do me a favor? <laughs> one thing. Tell me something, come down. What is this disc jockey show that you do in the morning? What is this? Well, I go on every morning at 6.30 on ABC. I just, ABC? <laughs> Don't mention it. 6.30 in the morning. 6.30 in the morning. Well, tell me, uh, Bobby, is it a recorded program or it is a live show? Well, how live can you be at 6.30 in the morning? <laughs> That's a funny one. <laughs> I go, well, look. <laughs> Here's one thing I want to ask you. Yeah. 6.30, you're not really, you're really on at 6.30 in the morning? Sure. You get, that's so early, that's for the birds. What do you do, wake up Garraway or something? <laughs> Listen, 